Last time we have talked about a tuple. A tuple can be used to store a group of data with different data types. Now the question is, in C++ we already have a utility to store data of different types, which is a structure. Then why do we need a tuple? For example, I can define a struct person string name, it contains a string of name and an integer of age. So this structure of person contains a string and an integer. And of course I can do the same thing with the tuple. String and int key. And if I want to use the person, I do C out p dot name p dot age. And if I want to use the tuple, I do C out get zero t get one t. So a struct and tuple are used differently, but they can achieve the same goal. Then the question is, which one should I use? Which one is better? It is not obvious now, but if we scroll down the code a bit and try to review the code, the code with structure tells me clear and loud that this is a name and this is an age. But with the tuple, I have to think about it. What was stored in position of 0 and what was stored in position of 1? If I can't remember it, I have to look it up in other place to figure it out. And if I hover my mouth over P, it tells me that P is a person. And if I hover my mouth over T, it tells me T is a tuple, which is helpful, but it doesn't tell me what is the meaning of T. So using structure can make my code more readable, which is a big advantage. Then again, why do we need a tuple? Now let's consider the case that we need to define a function called getNameAge. This function will return a name and an age. And suppose we haven't defined a structure that contains a name and age. Then we can define a tuple of string and int as the return type from this function. And in the function, I can do a lot of different things and eventually return a tuple. Bob, who is 34 years old. And in the main function, I can define a string name integer age, then tie name age equal to get name age. So in this case, a tuple is convenient as a one-time-only structure to transfer a group of data. If the only purpose of grouping name and age together is to return the two values from this function, and this kind of grouping will not be used in any other places, then using tuple can save us the hassle of defining a dedicated structure only for this purpose. So tuple is a convenient utility as a one-time only structure to transfer a group of data from one place to another. This is the most important functionality of tuple. Sometimes we can take advantage of the comparison function of a tuple. For example, I define a tuple of int, 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 which is storing time, time 1 and time 2. And the three integers are storing hours, minutes, and seconds accordingly. Then we can compare the two times. If time 1 is bigger than time 2, 
we print out time one is a later time. Another place a tuple can be used for is working with map. Say we have a map of tuple int char and float which is mapped to a string m. In this case we have created a multi-index map that maps a int, char and float to a string. Multi-index map. And later when I want to use the map I can do make tuple to a 2.3 equal to faith will move mountains. And I can also use the tuple to create a multi-index hash table. And sometimes I can use tuple to play a little trick. For example, I have int A, B, and C, and I want to rotate the data in A, B, C to B, C, A. I can do it like this. Pi B, C, A equal to make tuple A, B, C. In this case, the data in A, B, C are shifted one position to the left. And again, tuple makes my code more compact. So as you see, tuple can be a very convenient utility to use. But just like many other things in C++, tuple should not be abused. If this kind of grouping of data will be used again and again in different places, then it is probably a good idea to go back and use the good old structure for that. It will make your code more readable and maintainable. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.